Hello everyone, it's Open House Thursday on your view. Welcome to the show. I am Mariah Afolabi Brown. As always, I have the ladies. Hello, YK in the building. Jo, 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 jo. I know you're used to having you back, so we are still welcome hoping back, that you are back. still welcome here. This this week is a welcome week. How are you doing, YK? I'm fine. I'm finally fine. went home. We can we can tell when yes, <laughs> they got when everything home. combines. I finally got home. <laughs> so how was it? Was was driving crazy or was, um, was smooth? You know, when I was going home on Tuesday, the streets were littered with tires, burnt tires, mm. and. I mean, it was like really, really scary. And right. then when I got home, I heard that they hadn't slept. They wow. didn't sleep because the, the um, residents have now um, organized vigilante yeah. out, wow. to come out because of the robbers that have been robbing in that the is, area. Wow. So, and that's Ogun State, right? Yeah, we are Ogun State. We are yeah, actually... Yeah, just checking, just checking that we are, no, we are on the same page. We're not Lagos State. We're not talking about Lagos State. Yeah, no, no. State. <laughs> so we, we get I join you in solidarity. I'm still wearing my mask. Can you imagine? I'm still wearing my mask. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. But, but I heard some disturbing news and I'm really, really scared because um, the, the, there's one hotel beside us and she was saying a friend of hers called that stays in the area and her child had died. <laughs> And when she was telling my brother the story, the sy symptoms were like COVID-19. And then they wanted yeah. to come and greet her. So my brother said, ah, look, it sounds like COVID symptoms. Be careful, though. She said, yeah, it's true. So my own fear is we are going to be dropping like flies because people but are not taking know. these things seriously. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're not going they to don't hold. understand. And just like I said, I, they sent a report that some certain people in certain areas are just refusing to go to the to hospital. They're they are, they are having deals with the hospital owners and having those private here, they're just trying to be secluded there. They'll pay a special fee uh, to treated. be treated in the private hospital. So that's something I think the government is looking into. But, but even the doctors mm. that are doing it, they, 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 they should they be should sanctioned be, because yeah. they know they better. Yeah. Infectious yeah. is infectious. How are you doing, um, DC? I'm doing amazing. I'm doing amazing. Um, you see your videos with the kids. You've really been engaging your yes. children. Uh -huh. <laughs> dancing and everything. We I'm like, why? Well, I wish I could do we that. I want to start dancing too. We have to do something. So um, I, I was really concerned because, mm. you know, I'm not against people coming out to have this uh, vigilante. You know, we have a lot of volunteers, husbands, leaving their wives in the middle of the night to parade, make right. sure that I'm robbers, and they are really robbing seriously in our area. So, mm. but I had an issue with the tires that are burning because now I, I discovered a few days ago that when I clean my nostrils, I see black. Mm. So I was scared. I was wondering what was happening till I noticed my floors to when they get that instead of the normal uh, brown dust, I'm seeing black like I used stove to cook in the sitting room. Mm. I just realized that it's the tires. So many tires in my area are being burnt. Oh, so I don't God. know if they can find an alternative to the tires. It shouldn't even be burning anything at all. It's well, just But it works off know. thieves to know that people are in that area. But in That's my area, they use, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they use gongs as well. They mm. hit something in the middle. We're not sleeping anymore. We, ah, we are not. That's, that, that, that's dangerous for you. It's dangerous. Me, 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 I'm just a lucky person that I can sleep. Well, even if you put uh, this thing in my ear, I will still sleep. Maybe it's <laughs> being a musician's daughter. I don't know. Yeah, you can, you're so used to hearing noise and you have to I good just, <laughs> ah. You know, the it's new time greetings. to sleep. My mom will Letters. not know I, I don't know the new greeting. Eku lockdown. Eku lockdown. Eku social distancing. Eku... Eku koro. Eku koro. Eku koro. Eku... What's the other one? Eku... Ita atimole. That's the lockdown. Oh. Eku atimole. Eku atimole. Eku igbele. I heard that one this morning. Mrs. Kamala was like, Eku igbele. I was like, oh, wow. That's another one. Eku igbele. You know, Yoruba, we just come up with all sorts of greetings. I'm telling you. Anyways, we thank God for where we are. We're going to go on a break now. Where we come back. We go through the front pages of the paper. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Okay, very quickly, let's start with the nation. Tinumbu massive spending way out of economic crisis. 32 patients discharged in Lagos, Oshun, Kaduna, and FCT. Fire raises shops at Ibado Market. El Rufai, I'm still positive. Um, so let's take the story in the nation. Um, the 32 fire? patients, fantastic. I'm so happy about that. Yeah. Uh, we, we won't talk about the fire. The fire Go ahead. Yes. Okay, so um, they said a huge fire broke out at Dugbe Market. I don't know if I got the pronunciation yeah, right. Market, I, yeah. Okay, Ibadan yesterday. You raised two buildings and um, um, how two buildings housing over eight shops were raised down. So the fire started about 1.25 p.m., but then they were able to get in touch with the fire service about 1.30. When they got there, they realized that the fire was really enormous and they had to call for an extra uh, truck to handle the issue. But they were able to put it out at, at about uh, 
3.30 p.m. Wow. But then it had already destroyed, destroyed millions and millions of goods. Uh, also in uh, Abuja, in um, uh, Mim, I think one of the areas in Abuja, uh, the CAC office there also caught fire. Wow. Which one is CAC? What does CAC stand for? That's, That's the, the um, Corporate Affairs Commission. Okay. Um, we, we have to find out, you know, <laughs> whether it's Treasury or... Yeah, no, 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 no corporate okay. affairs. Anyways, are you know, the major headline, the <laughs> former governor of Lagos State, um, just like everybody is worried about the economy, it's, it's easy for us to say this is the fifth period of COVID-19, but at the same time, what's more important is after COVID-19, what's going to happen to the economy? Next? So he was in a nutshell saying that the government would have to spend massively mm. to get us out. And by spending, he gave us an eight-point recommendation, suspension of 5% deficit, uh, return to Greek I've been talking about, expansion of school feeding program, emergency sustenance payment, farm to market facilitation, suspension of imports, which we all mostly agree with. Mm -hmm. Stop importing and let's look within and amongst many others. Let's move on now to the punch. Samples Lagos creates 20 centers, FCT combs residents' houses. Aggrieved Chinese firms, workers vandalize, burn companies' vehicles. Khan declares one week daily prayers because of against um, COVID-19. Um, we've not discussed Edo Ondo Post postponement, says INEC. FG pays 200 billion naira to offset Jenko's gas bill. Security agents killed 18 during lockdown, says NHRC. Okay, let's take the human interest story here. Chinese the firms? Chinese from here. Yes, so some aggrieved Chinese workers in um, FM, Guangdong Free Trade Zone in Ado, that's in Ogun State, sets. Um, one of the company's vehicles are blazed because they were upset that they had been locked down. When the lockdown started, they didn't allow them to leave the premises. So mm. they locked them down for that first 14 days. And they were aggrieved that they want to collect their money. At least two months' salary should be paid to them, and they want to go home. So the police got involved. It's been resolved. They've been paid, and they've gone home. That's just right. basically the, the, story. the I wanted to talk about the major headline. The, the major headline. Right. Uh, Apart from the <laughs> opening centers, but yeah. the, the uh, doctor died in Luth yesterday, and he had been treating COVID-19 patients in his clinic. Ew. Got infected and now went to Luth, mm. and he died yesterday. And uh, they, they got his name from the Twitter handle where they were saying his name was uh, what's his name again? Uh, Shubu Emeka. Yeah, Shubu. and but I, I wanted I brought it up this story because. He should know better. He's a doctor. Right. Yeah. You now caught the disease. You've been treating the people in your clinic. Private clinic. You in a private clinic. Mm. You now caught the disease. You now carry yourself to root mm. to mm. go and be infecting. Yeah. Uh, we need we need more information and we need also need more sensitization of people. people and integrity. Yeah. People need integrity to know. is the key. Yeah. What we need right. as Nigerians. Right. Who, yeah. Okay. Uh, we can be calling government. Calling, but if we we are not. Uh, yeah. Especially the educated ones should know. Yes. Better. Okay, let's um, very quickly. I mm. wanted to just quickly add, add a few to things. The yes, yeah. the major story. So uh, they are setting up a 20 um, um, testing, yes, where they are, people can go in and uh, 20 centers for samples. So they'll take that samples and take it to the molecular labs for testing. They are saying we have capacity to test 3,000 patients daily, but we are not doing enough. Mm. And they are also advising that the uh, health workers should make themselves more of a priority by having the nose max yeah, on, you know, yeah. taking protective measures. I know, the press briefing yesterday, the, the, the chairman of the task force, um, SGF, was saying very clearly that everybody must wear, especially the elderly, yeah. must wear, and the health workers yeah. must wear masks. It's, it's important. And um, everybody, especially also those who are serving food, those of you giving out food, the you, know, you must ensure that yeah. you have your masks on. Moving on now to the Nigerian Tribune COVID-19, to move once cash to support through BVN. Um, Nigerians with 5,000 naira and below in bank accounts to get relief items. Uh, lockdown, two killed in Anambra as police engage youths. FG releases 200 billion naira to power sector. Human Rights Commission accuses security agents of killing uh, 18 Nigerians. Okay, which stories are we taking? We already talked about what uh, Ashwin mm -hmm. had said. Yes, but yeah. we wanted so, to add to that. Uh, yes, I want to add a few things. So he is saying that um, they make, they should, the federal government should make sure that they encapture all those people who have lost their jobs during this crisis. So if you have any way that you can prove that the crisis has affected you and you've lost your jobs, you should be put into consideration. So it's not just giving cash out to people who are not, uh, who don't have enough to feed, but also those who have lost their jobs. He's also suggesting that they support businesses who would like to retain their workers. Mm. You know, because at post COVID-19, people are going to be losing their jobs. So if there's a way the government can, you know, support those people, you know that your job is ah, secure, yes. you're not losing yeah, your job. I don't know job. how you retain my staff. Oh. 
exactly. exactly. So people like you now can apply and get support, support. so that you can retain mm. your staff. So because will, will, it, will it be dash or loan? It's when you get my work, you can apply first. Yes. So you see, you yes. get your details. So well, I, I know definitely your, your business has been, have been affected yes. and you could probably recommend, yeah. um, you, rec you, you are um, eligible to apply. Hmm. Moving on now to Vanguard, very quickly, hunger pushes protesters to the streets in Delta and Anambra. People will over, people with over 5,000 naira in banks will not get palliative, says federal government. Gunmen killed nine, including children, pregnant women in Plato State. I'm still COVID-19 positive, says El Rufai. Um, security agents killed more than more Nigerians in 14 days than coronavirus's NHRC. Okay, I was going to talk about the fact that the federal government will be giving people that have 5,000 naira below in their accounts uh, money. And they, they, there are a few other recommendations they're going to say. They're saying that... Um, they're going to use them BVN to realize those that have 5,000 below. And also those of you that recharge your cars 100 naira below. Mm. They're good. That's how they identify those who are poor and who are vulnerable. Mm. And that's how they're going to get. They'll have that database of people and then begin to um, give those uh, financial palliatives across the country. I so think it's a good one. Um, at, least, at least we know that it's to be credible because this issue of serving and them um, distributing palliatives is, is not working. Is not working. Mm -hmm. So when you give that trash, cash transfer, it keeps the economy moving and at least people have money to do what they need to do. Okay, let's move on now to Daily Sun very quickly. Lockdown turns bloody. Uh, police shoot two in Anambra and HRS says Kaduna leads with 12 deaths. And Delta 2 says um, NHRC. COVID-19, Interpol traces 561 million naira face max fraud mm. to nowhere else but Nigeria. 18,000 benefit from Lagos free medical services. Military destroys three illegal refineries. Tinbo advocates emergency social security payments to Nigeria and can declare seven days of praise, prayer against COVID-19. Okay, so which story are we taking major, the major headline? Go yes. ahead. So the um, National Human Rights Commission, that's NHRC, is saying that um, we've, this lockdown, we've lost about 21 people already, not as a result of COVID-19 because it's only de um, 11 people that have died as 12, a result of yeah. 12 people now as, have died as a result of the COVID-19. The other 18 the virus. Sec no, security mm, officials. That's hunger virus, man. At, well, how are you calling me hunger virus? Security <laughs> officials are the ones who are taking laws into their own hands. Yeah. So it happened in Anambra, it happened in Delta State and some other states where they are now killing people. They violated human rights, about 13 of them. They actually outlined all the things they've done. Okay, 33 incidents of torture, 27 incidents of violation of rights to freedom of movement and unlawful arrest, 19 incidents of seizure of properties and 13 incidents of extortion. So they are saying that they are going to be setting up a book to take in all of this mm. and ensure that they fight for the rights of Nigeria. I want to appeal to our security officials. This is not the time we have to be killing people. Right. Everybody is fighting against this COVID-19. Yes. You and shouldn't add your and own. And also, everybody is cranky I, right I, now. We're upset. No, I, I, I even think that, you know, the police have to have a human face. Yes, no. The security officials have to have a human. They have to have, you know, treat yeah. it with, you know, you are, you are, you okay, you are on the road illegally. Oh, yeah, madam or Oga, go to your house. Exactly. Because as I said, everybody is cranky. We are all upset. Yeah. We have the fact that we are locked down. So we are, for one reason or the other, we are not happy. So if you see me that, that you think I'm on the road, I shouldn't be on the road, talk to me nicely and say, Auntie, please hey. go back home. If you start using your guns, we are all, we are all upset. Die, but I must know. add that um, Lagos State Government has actually um, given free medical services to 18,000 residents. Oh. And, um, and the government had promised this weeks back that um, they'll be giving out free medical services. Because during this period, a lot of people have been complaining that they're unable to, um, access. to access their medical, medical, medical services. Also, 600 childbirths we've had have occurred in the last few weeks mm -hmm. um, since um, this free medical services. May so, I quickly add yeah. that the um, um, hospitals, that's the federal hospitals, the state hospitals, they are not really working. I have personal experience. Mm -hmm. I've been there mm -hmm. in the last, last three weeks, about three times, they will give wow. you a post. They'll go and come back in two weeks. They see somebody dying, go and come back in three weeks. They are not working, they are just there. Mm. Please, can they help to... We, before COVID-19, we've had people who were pregnant, yeah. we've had people who had other diseases I think also, they should attend to us. And also, in the early... Kids are going for inoculation. Yes, yeah, they should yeah. attend to people. I think also in the early stage of this, when, 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 when we started having COVID-19, a lot of hospitals were confused. They didn't know, understand, know, understand exactly. They didn't have enough PPE. They were not sure how to protect themselves. Yeah. So there was still that initial confusion, but now I think they're getting more PPE to more, more hospitals, and they 
they are now helping them understand better how to treat those who are not COVID-19 and keep them safe from those who could be uh, infected. Unfortunately, that's all we can take on front page review. When we come back, we continue with our hot topic. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. So before we go into our mm -hmm. hot topic, we have with us the Honorable Minister of Women Affairs, Pauline Talent, to discuss the plight of Nigerian women, especially during this COVID-19. Good morning, madam. Are you there? Yes, I'm there. Good morning. Good morning. Good to have you on. So the, Honorable, the Ministry of Women Affairs, what have you been doing so far during this COVID-19 lockdown? In what ways have you been supporting women so far? a very trying and difficult period for everyone, especially yes. for women, because women are the ones that carry the whole burden in the home. Uh, we have been reaching out to women on symptoms, encouraging them, and ensuring that they keep it with right. God and to ensure that they keep the family together. Right. We are also working with the a uh, mutual humanitarian affair Good. to ensure that um, the gift at the We're having troubles with the... Can you hear us, madam? We can't hear you. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, okay, shut up. And also, um, the, uh, we're also in touch with the Honorable Minister of uh, the FTT. Right. Minister of State, SPT, okay. and Social Development to ensure that um, they play the key role and ensure that the palliatives that they are sharing reach out to women. Okay. Because right. this means that we are sending the palliatives directly to the affected so that they share it to the women. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right, Ma. So I hear that there is a rise in domestic violence as we speak. So I want to know if you've gotten such reports and what you've done yes. to help out. Yes. It's heartbreaking, and, um, and it's not just Nigeria, it's the world over. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you recall the, the Secretary General of the United Nations, Dr. Petros Alhanun, who made a statement on the high increase of domestic violence and incidences attributed to the COVID-19, and appealing that they should understand that the family must be together and we should also, they should also understand the heavy burden that is on the women. The ministry is also reaching out to the various ministries of women affairs, our governors at the state level and the wives of governors to ensure that they create safe place for women during this period. Right. Now, there are lots of women that are pregnant during this period. Many of them are scared of going to the hospitals, obviously, for obvious reasons. Um, and what can we do, I mean, your ministry, working with the, the Ministry, of Health, uh, uh, Ministry of Health also, to ensure that women are getting the health care they need, especially at this um, crucial time of their, of their pregnancies? Yes. Um, going to the hospital uh, during pregnancy, particularly when they are in labor, is it's a necessity that they cannot run away from because it's safer to be there in the hospital. And I'm sure um, the health workers in the hospital are doing their best to keep faith, to support the women, and to ensure that the place is safe and free for them. We are in, this, uh, in touch with the Ministry of uh, Health. We are working closely with the Honorable Minister of Health and all his staff. Right. And so far, so good. They have been doing and supporting the women, particularly those who are in level. Right. I've reached out to so, so many of them, uh, the women that have put to bed during this period. Okay. Yeah, so I want to know if there's any way you're sensitizing these women to try as much as possible to avoid triggering this domestic violence. Because, you know, before the lockdown, some people yes. go out to work and th there's little contact with the abuser, so to speak. But now everybody's locked down together. Is there anything yes. you're doing to try and talk to these women on how they can avoid this? Yes. Uh, we've made a lot of jingles 
uh, in different languages, with black jingles, okay. uh, in broken English, in English, in Hausa, in Yoruba, okay. and uh, Igbo, and also uh, in uh, Fulfulti. So these jingles are on, and uh, we are also in consultation with COVID-19, so the NHL has sought to grant access to sexual uh, and gender-based violence services offered by the one-stop centers. We have the sexual assault referral centers and shelters supported by the United Nations and affiliated development partners and other civil, so uh, civil society organizations right. for victims and survivors of possible instances of sexual okay. um, <clears throat> violence. You, All right. yeah. you know, they say it's the women that hold the home together. And yeah. I think it's, it's the, the sensitization of um, COVID-19 will be through women as well. Is there a yeah. way you are trying to sensitize these women so that they will sensitize their households? Because without us sensitizing our households, this thing might spread beyond our... Okay. So is there a way you are, um, ministry. your ministry is facing this? Yeah. Yes, the ministry has made we are sensitizing them through jingles, and we are also working with civil society organizations. The ministry is clearly monitoring the gender dimension of all the measures put in place at the national and state level to address COVID-19, including the provisions of uh, palliatives. So do you have any, because we've received um, most of the palliatives we see people giving is basically for the households and families, uh, but there's no uh, distinction between the single mothers and the widows. So as a woman affairs uh, uh, minister, is there any special program, any special palliatives prepared for single mothers and widows? When we are reaching out, we are reminding the... Uh, the committees that are in charge of this financing to include them. I watched yesterday, like um, the in the FCT, there's no discrimination. When the palliatives are taken to the community, they give it out to everybody in that community that makes sense. So there's no distinction uh, between um, the single, single mothers and the widows. The, the single mothers and widows are not denied. In every community, we are also working on it uh, at the ministry level to, uh, to ensure that we reach out to these special cases. All right, finally, before I let you go, Ma, I know you say you're supporting the Minister for Humanitarian Affairs and Disaster, Disaster Management. I'd like to know, yes. to what end is this support coming? Because we need to... No, we are working together. Okay. We We're having lots of pockets of violence here and there. We know that when we engage the women leaders in these various communities, like the Yalojas, the uh, markets women, if we engage them thoroughly such that they can contain their environment, we, wouldn't, we may not have this kind of violence. So I'm just thinking to what end or how effective has this engagement or assistance with um, humanitarian affairs has been? Yes, we are reaching out to the women leaders through the jingles and uh, we also reach out to them on one and one to encourage them to play that motherly, motherly role right. they've always played. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mothers are mothers. Women are always mothers anywhere, anytime. So they will never uh, shy away from that responsibility of being mothers and ensuring that uh, our youth don't go out of hand right. Right. Uh, in creating such violence. Right. Thank you so much, Mar, for joining us this morning. It's been a pleasure Thank talking you. to you. Yes, we've been Thank speaking you. with the Minister of uh, Women Affairs, Pauline Talon. Uh, we're going to go on a break now. When we come back, uh, we'll continue with the show. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. So, the issue of cabin fever is our focus right now because um, when the lockdown started, we all, there were a lot of videos going up and down. We thought, okay, 
people will be forced to mend their marriages, mend their homes. Everybody will be happy now that men who have gone astray mm -hmm. will finally have an opportunity to remend the home and everything. But the news and reports we're getting is on the contrary. Mm -hmm. People <laughs> are work. fighting. Mm -hmm. Marriages are actually, I mean, people <clears throat> are, domestic violence has increased. Mm -hmm. People are frustrated. Mm -hmm. Some are overeating. And obviously, it's just as a result of cabin fever. But before we go, let's just define cabin fever. And I'd like YK to help I, us understand I, I, what is cabin fever. I'll read fever? it to you, the yeah. definition. Cabin fever refers to the distressing, claustrophobic, irritability of all restlessness experienced when a person or group is stuck at an isolated location <laughs> or in confined quarters mm. for an extended <laughs> period of time. A person may be referred to as stir crazy derived from the use there to mean prison. Right, so okay. obviously many of us are irritable mm. because we've been locked down for two weeks and now we're told extra two weeks. Now, if you have a spouse or you have a partner or you have somebody who's in your house that is frustrating you Ew. and you've been trying to fix this marriage for a long time for whatever reason not happening and now you're forced in the same house, those are the people we want to hear from today. <laughs> How you are managing that house, <coughs> what you are doing, is it, turning, is it turning around for you for, the, for good? Mm -hmm. Or are you just, I mean, are you, are you having cabin fever? Mm -hmm. Not sure. So um, that's our conversation today. And I'd like to start with UBC. What are your thoughts on people, the reports you've gotten yes, that domestic so violence far. has been yeah. on the increase? Yeah. So uh, let me even move away from the people who had issues with their marriages before now. Mm. Let me talk about people who are having a who've been having a ball in their marriages, okay. who have been enjoying their marriages. And now... Mm. You enjoying have, the lockdown. No, no, no. Okay. You were enjoying, enjoying your marriage before, before the lockdown. Mm -hmm. before the lockdown. Okay. So now thinking, this lockdown, now, you are not beating wait, yourself. calm down. So <laughs> you now thought that by the lockdown, you are going to be closer to your spouse. You will have more time together, quality time, you know, and all of that. And you are realizing that, Omo, he's too much in my space. <laughs> he doesn't want to give me space, space yeah. at all. He's and now... Anxiety is coming in because you are frequently frustrated. You have to go to the kitchen several times a day. You have to attend to him in the other room several times a day. You know, the pressure, yeah, the kids are there. You are right. managing a lot. It's enough for you to have cabin fever. So now we understand. And I think me, I'm having cabin fever because I don't even understand. Sometimes I can't even concentrate mm. because I feel like everybody is in my head. Right. Everybody is in my head. Or God has been yeah. frowning since because <laughs> I've not had this time. Because I just said, can you people just leave, leave me? me? I mean, I, I want to stay alone. I found myself shouting, leave me alone. <laughs> like the kids are going, what are going to do? What are going to They're like bees in your ears. I'll give you some of the symptoms so that if you are facing it now, you know. <laughs> Restlessness, lethargy, sadness or depression, trouble concentrating, lack of patience, food cravings, that's Mariah, decreased I'm motivation, social isolation, <laughs> difficulty waking, <laughs> I don't like to wait. frequent I napping, that's Mariah again, no. helplessness, change, your, change your weight, and inability to cope with stress. Whatever, I don't <laughs> nap as much. But the truth is that... But you have said it on TV. No, 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 yeah, yeah. When you eat, you go and sleep. No, just when you, when you sleep, <laughs> you, you wake up, up you, you, you go and eat and you go and sleep. <laughs> and it's you that said it, I yeah, didn't say okay, it for okay. you. The well, point is that, point is that let, let, let's bring it back to the real issue. Yeah. There's a rise in domestic violence. Yes. We actually thought that this lockdown would actually help build homes, but mm -mm. it's not in some cases. Mm. Some are happy, others are frustrated. I'd like to get, open our phone lines to get some calls from people who are actually um, getting um, irritable because your spouse is there 24-7. This is a person that goes out for like eight, nine hours, gives you, gives you space, you do your own thing, but <sighs> now they are forced to be in your face and you are, you are really, you're getting very, very upset and frustrated about that. So how are you managing it? Please call us on 070-806-68014. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your TVC so we can read your tweets. You so what I, yeah, what I wanted to say is I'm realizing that people are having a lot of distorted perceptions. So you have been in this lockdown and you, are, you can't go to church. You know, normally we used to have church as yeah. a place of... You go Release. and get solace, spiritual, spiritual help, upliftment. Yeah. upliftment. You are no longer allowed to go to that kind of place. Those people who go to clubs, who go to bars to hang out and yeah. drink, to, to relieve themselves of yeah. the stress of the day, they no longer have that. Jesus so Christ. everybody is locked in. And when you have those kind, and you're, you're, people are even beginning to see that. Are you sure all the things they've been saying about church is real? They are beginning to question different norms. So the government has failed me now. Mm. I can't have access to good health care. Mm. I can't have access to food. I can't have, the, okay, in my house, no light. Mm. For oh, 24 hours Jesus now. Christ. Imagine if I did not have generator. Now, my neighbors 
who likely don't have generator will be beefing me. Yeah. I'm burning money because I'm buying diesel and I'm buying fuel, and somebody will be feeling hey, they are the ones that have money to even buy this, diesel this, and this, buy This is light gin. It's not, it's not <sighs> small gin, though. I'm telling you. We, we don't, yeah, we have all the light on and off. Uh, but the heat out there is crazy. Our air conditioner started acting funny. It wasn't blowing air. Myself and my husband, we just turned electrician. We started bringing out this. We started cleaning out all the air. Like, you must blow air because it's not the time for you to start having issues. But we'll come back to our gist because I'm told now that we have um, the coordinator, Lagos State Domestic Violence Response Team, DSVRT, Mrs. Vivor. Good morning. Are you there? No, oh, we lost her call. Okay, I do apologize. So we'll come back to her yeah. because we're trying to see what the government is doing, what they can do to help these families, especially in this period. But we'll come back to her. Yeah, yes. So let me quickly finish what I was saying. So when you are now in that position where you're having all of these negative feelings, you are bound to transfer aggression on the other person. Now imagine someone who was naturally abusive before, who when the wife talks anyhow, can just give her two slaps to correct the face. Now we are stuck. I can't even go out to get money. The kids are shouting. There is no food. The frustration will be there. So I mm. expected an increase in domestic violence. Mm. But now how do we get out of that? Because you are not running. The neighbors who would have come into your apartment to up. settle the they case can't. are no longer able hey, to come in. Jesus Christ. The, 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 your parents that you could have called, mommy, oh, they are hitting me again. Your mother cannot even Holy show up. Mm. So you are on your own. Oh. Now, how do we help Those people, kind of people That's a in very, that? very important it's, it's, question. It's, it's, that, it, that's a good question, how to help them. Because personally, I realized because my, my partner and I decided to, during the lockdown, we should just stay, stay together. together. And what I did, I bought Ludo, hmm. I bought what? I bought um, the playing cards. I have backgammon. So we, we start our day. I start my day like this. Okay. Very early, when I wake up, I put on my exercise kit. I exercise. I will yeah. do like one or two hours of just, just letting out, out that. Okay. So the, the, these are solutions. Because the first like two days, we, we fought. I almost just <laughs> drove home. We, uh, what nonsense. Yeah. Uh, you are watching TV. Me, I'm, I, I don't watch TV like you. So you say, well, yeah, go now, you know? <laughs> so, in two days. Two days, the first imagine, two days. Imagine that. So I started exercising. Then when we have made it, okay, we'll go and shower. Mm, together. Together, separately, either or. We can do it together. Then we we'll say we are going out. Where are we going? We are going from bedroom to sitting room. Uh -uh. That's our journey. Do you from dress bedroom. up? Ah, we, ah, we dress up. <laughs> ah, we do makeup. <laughs> to go revisit the city room. <laughs> Why can't I quit? Something is happening to your brain. <laughs> we watch the TV. When we are watching TV small, we will play Ludo. It was okay. Let's go on an outing. We are going downstairs <laughs> to, the, to the yard. That's our outing. We now sit down. We will carry another game. What? We will play. Before you know it, five, six, don't knock. Mm, and it's time, time for... to go to bed. <laughs> Before bed, we we'll go and walk. We we'll all walk around yeah. to exercise more. Yeah. Yeah. Come back. We we'll take the dogs with us. Come back. It's almost time for bed. <laughs> mm. Okay, so are you so still you active found in that side? Ah, uh, before mm. That's in this lockdown, in this lockdown, Waiki, you, you, uh, uh. you shouldn't be resting, <laughs> Waiki. You should be resting. This is your time to rest. Anyways, we are resting. Okay, I can see that. All that is resting. Everything is resting. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, but like going back to the women that are, are men that are frustrated with their spouse at this yeah. time. I, I would advise them, um, I mean, let's have a shadow, just like you rightly said. Mm -hmm. There's got to be a shadow because you're used to um, him going out or her going out at the mm -hmm. period. Find that shadow, that time that they are not away. <clears> find <throat> that space to leave leave the room. I mean, there's got to be somewhere in your room you can just excuse yourself and be by yourself. Find things to keep you busy. Go take online courses. Take online, read up more. You can, mm -hmm. you can just have, lock yourself in the room. Sometimes when I see that my spouse is maybe taking a <coughs> nap, I go to the children's room. Mm -hmm. I lock the door. Mm -hmm. It's my time. Let me, everybody, just, just leave me alone. alone. I want to be alone. I sit down there with my laptop. I go online. I read stuff. So find a few, three hours to yourself. Because if not, you will get frustrated. Yes, and then so. the, the cooking thing. People are not used to cooking morning, afternoon, and evening. No, it depends on your family. It depends on the kind of family that you have. If you all go out to work, and you usually cook maybe just breakfast and then dinner. dinner yeah. Now you're having to cook three times Lunch, a day. Yeah. So sometimes you can actually go back to that system. 
me, my own, what I do is snacks. I get like little healthy snacks, lots of carrots in the house. We cut up the, the um, cucumbers. cucumbers. Everybody, and we do the avocado, we blend it, and all they put salt, everything. Make it nice so the kids are deep. Have, find healthy snacks, you know, in the house. So something to keep them busy. But listen, <clears throat> I, I feel your pain, and I just hope that we can get in our guests very quickly to help us understand how best to manage these kind of situations. Yes. So this is for the typical family that is well enough to support themselves. Mm. They have a small money in the bank account. Right. There's food, you've stocked up, so you right. can afford to have avocados and have lemons and have this and all of that. The woman that goes to the market on a normal day mm. to sell fish, yeah. now she cannot have access to mm. go and sell that fish. Mm. And she's at home, stuck. The kids mm. cannot eat. Mm. All this exercise they're doing will not work for her. Mm. She's mm. constantly thinking of how do I feed my children? How do I support my children? The husband who probably goes to the carpenter shop Shop to do some mm. small work can no longer go there. They are, two of them are looking at each other and their kids are crying. And they have there a is small, no food. maybe one room one apartment. One face me and slap yeah. you kind of house. So how do you handle it mm. in that situation? And sometimes the men, the men in these cases, they don't worry about the food. They all, the only is that they can't, they can't, they can't um, get their work done. Yeah. But the, the woman that is worrying about, about what, what my children, children are going eat. to eat. This one, the guy is in the house. In what would he eat? In, in fact, you see the worst part of this kind of matter. You see those kind of men. Nine months time, these women are going to have another. Are you telling me? Like, no, 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 <laughs> what are you saying? No, 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 no. Let's no, go on no, a no, break. No. Let's go on a break. When we come back, we'll try to see if we can get our guests because we need serious help. I mean, it's, it's good we for do. us to laugh over these things, but the truth is that there are women that are frustrated right now. Men are actually complaining bitterly. Seriously. And I'd like to open our phone lines to it's get not just from them that to please. The men are I said, too. men are also complaining. Let's go on a break. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thank you for staying with us. So we're told that our guest actually, her, her phone is off right now, so oh. we can't reach her. So we're going to open our phone lines to get our viewers. Why well, I'm sure you have tweets by now, oh. uh, because we need to um, see what we can do to help. <coughs> I think I have a call. Good morning. Are you there? Stephen, are you there? Hello? Stephen, are you there? Yes, ma. Thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. Good morning, ma. Good morning. morning. You're live. Go ahead. The the recession here is very bad. Yes, I, I, I was so surprised when the president announced the new 14 days added to my own surprise. Why were you surprised? I, uh, I was surprised because I was expecting him to like, give us some time to go out and get some food stuff, even if he's not supporting us. We are accepting the fact that he's not supporting us. He can also even give us some time to like go out. But do you understand what's at stake? If he gives you time to go out, and for example, we're having communal infections now, and more people get infected, do you understand what's what the gravity of that, um, of that allowance? The gravity of the well, if he can give us some time, yes, we know the gravity of the allowance of contacting the virus, but. If we introduce this face mask into it, mm. uh, and everybody has this face mask, just... All right. Oh, Stephen, I really wanted to hear your thoughts. Okay, no problem. Okay. It's important for us to know that Nigerians understand why the government is taking certain decisions. Mm. It's for our own good. Because if you see numbers across the world, it will scare you. Countries that have felt that we didn't have enough numbers, that oh, we can take, we can, we can relax our borders or relax our restrictions. Mm. Today, they are paying dearly for it. So, and because our country, we already know we don't have the perfect healthcare system. Our cemeteries are already over full. Ew. So, we cannot afford in, on, in any shape or fashion to have this outbreak at a, at a larger scale in this country. That's why it was important that we extend the lockdown and ensure that, this, the, that we can contain the virus. Waike, you have tweets for us? Um, Abdul, Nusain, 
My name is Abdullah. <coughs> I've been trying to call to put my contributions on this program. Each time I try the number, it isn't connecting. I would like to be registered among the callers. So his number is there. So <laughs> producers, please, he wants to call. He's trying okay. to call him. Let me take this caller from Yomi. Yomi, are you there from Abuja, I believe? No, oh, I'm from Good morning. Good morning, Yomi. Go ahead, please. Yeah, thank you. Uh, for turning the issue you're discussing about. Yes, yes. Well, in Port Harcourt, we really don't have much of the lockdown, so to say. Okay. So we're not going to work. Uh, but then, um, we are told we can still go around some time to uh, visit friends if we can. But, can but visit friends? Like, wow. Yeah, uh, oh. if we can, but just limited uh, movement. Right. But this period actually has given me a lot of time to stay with my wife and my kids. Has it helped your marriage or made it worse? So what? Has that helped your marriage or made it worse? Definitely. Fantastic. Good to know. Yami, oh, are you there? What's wrong with our numbers today? Yes, you have more tweets? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Go ahead, YK. Uh, okay, she said, um, Hannah Ryan said, my own sister-in-law who stays with me has been frustrating me this period. It's really making me feel sad. Yeah. If I ca if care is not taken, I will give her the insult. <laughs> It's out of my life. <laughs> well, you know what Kingsley says? Yes, there may be rise in domestic violence, but I'm sure most families have bound, bonded well during this period than before and got to know each other more. You see now more indoor games than before. You just have to learn to cope since you don't have an option. Toby Martin says, thinking has led to depression. More extra two weeks, no light, no food, no money. What next? Everything irritates you. Transfer of aggression is the next thing. But the most important thing is to know your partner. Mm. And it suggests study your Bible together. Let me take this call from Abdurrahim from Kaduna. Abdurrahim, are you there? Uh, good morning. Morning. Thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. Yeah, good morning, Moriah. Yes, you're live. You're live. Right, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Um, actually, it's actually not easy staying at home. Well, uh, like me now, I'm a banker, but right. I've been at home for like two weeks now. Right. As, as you know, we've been in Kaduna and there's been 24 hours for you. How, how, is, how is it been, staying home? Uh, it's actually not easy, but we have to devise a means. The kids are there. <laughs> um, like, you know, bankers, we, always have, we don't always have time for the kids, but this time around... So what have you done I with your children and your wife so far? Yes, I take my kids through school and um, through their lesson notes and all that. Okay. I try and help them out on it. Then uh, my wife, what we do is early morning from 7, we we'll go out for a walk. Um, then we have a game, like uh, Sister Yemi said. We play games. I have like three hours to myself, like you said. So while you were talking, you were just like speaking, you were speaking my mind. Does she have to cook for you three times a day? No, 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 no. Okay. no. She How many times a day do you guys eat? Twice. Just twice. twice okay. That's cool. Fair yes, enough. Just twice a day. Maximum between. Yes. Okay. But the kids always have their cereals and cold, their yeah. yeah. and flakes and yeah, yeah they standard. have they can yeah. treat. So yeah. you are just on holiday, Sha. You are boiling. <laughs> seriously boiling. Interesting. I wanted to ask, do you still have um leave at work? Leave days at yes. work? Do you yeah, plan to I still take that leave at some point this year? Which or you are done? What? No, 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 I still have leave, but you know, with this uh, present situation, no, you can't go back leave. to work and um, have the guts to say you want to go on Seriously. <laughs> 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 Not so true. <laughs> okay. That's the truth. All right, yes. thank you so much for joining us from Kaduna. No, nope. yes. yes. um, <laughs> okay. Um, did you read this, Bolaho, who says, what mm -hmm. I did is exactly what I did. I got Ludo what so that we don't have stories that well, so that we don't have stories that touch. See this COVID-19 has exposed so many ill in marriages. Mm -hmm. Life <coughs> vicissitudes, vicissitudes, I'm sorry, before now have covered up many frictions that mm -hmm. families face. So if somebody was calling me, I mean, uh, um, uh, an auntie of mine was telling me that she was hearing, you know, we, my, my own people, they live in Lagos Island. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they'll live back to back together like that. They'll be hearing their neighbor, oh, oh, no, bad, you know, they're insulting each other, Battering. fighting. And they, just like you said, they can't go and help them. No, you can't. Uh. They can only call the police. I told them to call 767. Okay. At least to, 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 that somebody will not die. Because they were, they're constantly hearing fighting going on. So in a situation whereby you are staying with somebody who is frustrating you, give yourself space. Leave. Can Take you a walk. Move to where? You, you know, it's easy for us to... 
all these people who are able to buy games and play games and do exercise and all of that, I, I don't have a problem with those ones because they are the ones that are okay, so to speak. You see the problem we have because there's a time if care is not taken, the poor will start eating the rich. It will get to that. Mm. If you come to my area where I stay, mm. you will see that people don't care anymore. Mm. Anything that wants to happen, let it happen. I've not eaten, nobody will pass here without dropping money. Are you for real? And you see people carrying, in fact, they have even sent a letter, more like a note saying that if we come to your house, those our, our boys, if we come to your house, you don't have money, we'll cut off your hand. Jehovah. So make sure you keep money in your house. People are getting that frustrated. For real, in your area? Those, yes, those are the people we need to start looking. How do we help them? Because if we don't solve their problem, their wahala well, will become see, our you problem. See, you are in Logan State, because in Lagos State, they've started cooking for the boys on the streets. Um, mm. um, you see, the thing is, we don't have social security in this country. This, one of the, this is the time that I think the citizens and the government should now look inwards and start thinking, we, what are these? We don't have social security. Right, right. That's why they can do lockdown in America and there's no problem because yeah, everybody's yes. going to, whether yeah. you have work or not, you will get your paycheck. You get yeah. something. You get People something. People are fighting for unemployment abroad. Yeah. And they will now, get some money. Yeah, because you are unemployed yeah. now. Now, these are our boys that you're already, they're, they're a lot, they're, 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 what they used to do, they are uh, the boys that park you yeah, at yeah, parties. Yeah, yeah. They're the, the boys that mm, they get something. Um, go to the embassies and park you when you want to park, and they will no, look after your car. Not that so anymore. They don't have all these things. They are the agbaros who stop the buses. But no, those are all, not sustainable businesses anyway. They are not sustainable, but it keeps them off Align, the street. Right. Now, where I would advise the government mm -hmm. is to gather these boys Together. and start looking for ways for them to look. Start tiring the roads. Mm. Start tiring the roads. They're not skilled though. They're not skilled for that. But they can what do you need to do to start right. that road? Carry bon -bon. For example, carry going, in, in line with what you said, the governor, I think, of Z Cross River State, I the governor, right? He was saying that he's hiring 8,000 automatic employment. That's a solution. Cleaners, a solution. gardeners, just a, they, pay, they pay them 30,000 naira each. That's his own That's solution. solution. So he's finding, he's domesticating his own solutions. Mm. Let me say, we've finally been able to speak, um, get in touch with Mr. Theo Akatuba. He's a relationship expert. Uncle Theo, our second Uncle Theo. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm fine. How Good are to you? have you on the show. It's a pleasure. Have you been following you? our conversation? Yes, I have. That's it's... why I am particularly interested. I'm yes. doing a series on harmony at home. Okay. Uh, yes. And how do we handle uh, this situation? And uh, First of all, the, the first thing we must realize is that uh, marriage is a gift, a special gift. And that's why, and, uh, and the quality of our marriage is a special gift back to God. The mm -hmm. time of lockdown is an opportunity to rebuild on those lost grounds. Mm -hmm. And all those people who mask mm -hmm. the weaknesses of their relationship in going out, time has come to begin to resolve them. And so I start with acts of kindness. Because if you know that I need to be kind to the other, you will not pick on those little things. Uh, sometimes you find that um, there is a little thing that is kept in a place that it shouldn't be kept. And you are such a perfectionist. This is a time to take back and allow the weakness of the other to show so you can correct them in love. Hmm. It is not a time to. Let me let me let me paint a scenario for you because these are this we read all this in the textbooks. I want you to bring I want to bring it to real life. For example, you're a woman, you're working at a bank, you're earning maybe you're, you're the breadwinner of, of your family for of some sort. Your husband is not really um, uh, is not is not there yet. And then you live with your mother-in-law who probably hates you for whatever reason. Um, your son-in-law is also there. Your husband, you leave, when, you, when you leave for work in the morning, is your escape time. Mm. You go to work, you have like eight hours, your friends at work. You have, then you come back home, you make sure dinner is done, and you go to your room and you're fine. But now you're forced to stay in this house with a husband hours. who feels that, oh, you, of course you're working in the bank, Abby. You know you want to be my, my, my guy in this house. Your mother-in-law that hates you because you earn more, more than our son. A sister-in-law that hates you, that is you, that her brother is collecting money from. Respectful. All sort of drama in your house. And now there's domestic violence. What do you do? Okay, you mean your husband has started attacking you as a result of this? Mm. Because the word violence, is it from your husband to you or from the family of your husband? Let's Either start with the way. family, sir. The family. All right. If, there's, if the family of your husband are in your house and they're working against you, then your husband has not raised the bar and has not placed you in a place of honor. Mm. He has failed in his responsibility to shield mm. you away from his family. Mm. In that case, now that the witness is there, you are facing a barrage of attacks. You need to now wear the 
the heart of kindness, knowing that the breadwinning that you are doing, you are not doing it, uh, you are doing it in help of your husband. You are doing it to raise, uh, to, to help your husband build a family. You are not breadwinning as the leader of the home. For breadwinning does not confer leadership on a woman. Mm -hmm. It is a role that she do only temporarily, and she must work hard to bring her husband to a place where the husband will take his due role. Mm -hmm. So a husband who allows family to bring down his wife has failed in the big responsibility of shielding his wife from family attack. And the mm. family that do not appreciate a wife who is supporting their son, such a family has played a very low game and they need to return. This is not the time to fight fights that we have had before. This is the time to reconcile, to resolve. It's not the time to be jealous because your, your son's wife has more money than your son. No one knows to which extent God has blessed the other. A wife can be the richest does not mean that the husband should panic. The husband should go with grace and work diligently. So right. God will surely reward that. Okay, let me get in a few more questions for you. Yes. Yes. Um, yes. What, what of Mama and Baba Rishi Katu? Yes. They are staying in a one-room apartment. They have maybe four children. Baba Rishi Katu wants action. Mama Rishi Katu wants to look after the children. The children are in the room. We can't be doing action here. Baba Rishi Katu gets frustrated. There is no money. He can't go to his carpentry work. And she can't go and sell in the market. And then he starts to punch Yarisi Katsu. Uh, Babarisi Katsu should be matured. If there is an extra room, then he will have his time. If there is no extra room, he has to wait for the time that everyone else is at sleep. Asleep. So punch Babarisi Katsu after four children means they have done a lot of it in time past. This is not the time to fight for such a little act. You must look for moments. Inside the bedroom, you can go and... <laughs> Because, <laughs> hey, Uncle Theo, that's back when children are asleep. It doesn't work, oh. That thing does not work. You One work. child, what are you talking about? <laughs> One child's eyes will be like this. No, Trust me. So it doesn't work. Early morning, no, it works. Uh, <laughs> uh, don't work. It, it doesn't. Talking. You won't even know the child is awake. You, yeah. the child, is the child so, going to tell you that she's awake? Act like uh, mommy, awake. I'm seeing you. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> you close. Anyway, I'm not in one room. No, I'm not in one room. So I have another scenario, sir. Please, um... What if um, you are in a situation whereby the man, anytime he gets home normally before post COVID, uh, before COVID-19, the house is always arranged. That's because you make a conscious effort to have settled the kids and you arrange the house. Now the man is home 24 seven and he's seen how the children scatter the house every minute. Mm. Pillows, throw pillows everywhere on the floor, plates, pillows, throw pillows everywhere on the floor, plates everywhere and all of that. And he's finding it difficult to understand. Just, yeah. He's agitated, what do you do? Now what you do is to let him know frontally without any uh, inhibition that what you used to see, my husband, is a moment that when you are coming back, we put the house in order. Mm. But now that we are continuously at home, you are now witnessing the things that I go through. Maybe. In any way, sir, or my husband, please tolerate us for the moment. These are the things that I tolerated every day, which you did not see. Can't so he I participate in the cleanup? Me. Can't Oga help him participate? No, hold on, I have not finished. Oh, sorry. So that when Oga understands what you have said, mm. he will now begin to appreciate and join in, mm. the, in the act of service. Mm. That's why I said we must do acts of service. Do it for the other things that burden them that ordinarily you did not know before. It's time to step out of your comfort zone or step out of your taboo zone and do some of them. Mr. Katsubu, in a single way, a wife beats up her husband. And yeah. he's been holding this secret for so long, you know, it happens in their house. But now that he's home, the beating is now prevalent. And neighbors are now hearing. In the past, maybe they, it just happened at night. Everybody, the generators are up. Nobody hears anything. But now, during the day, it's, an, it's embarrassing for him to come out. Now, people are now here. Ah, ah. So it is this woman. Nobody can come and help them out. In this kind of situation, these, these men, how can we, and I'd like you to give us some tools. How okay. can this, we I, use this opportunity this, to fix our homes? Are you asking me, a, a woman that beat up her husband yes. is no longer a wife. <laughs> what is so, she saying? I don't know how to advise her who is not a wife. <laughs> to beat your husband, I mean, you are falling for grace. You are no more in any way regarded as a wife. <laughs> you are simply a warrior who is mistakenly called a wife. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
Okay. Okay. Oh now, you know I have to let you go okay. soon, but I want you to give us tools. You're a warrior. <laughs> I would like you to give us tools we can use in the home yeah, to use survive. this lockdown, this cabin fever we are having. Turn it around the so that we can help our homes, please. Yeah, I will give you two or three. Yes. First one is act of kindness. Kindness, of okay. Kindness. Then two is word of affirmation. Mm. Words of affirmation, okay. Now your spouse wants good words. What bring your spouse to yourself in the morning and before you go to bed. Reassure them of your mm. gratitude mm. for the little things they do. Mm. They thank you in a special way. Sweet. Look her in the eye. The mm. kind of things she has sacrificed over the years. Let her see sincerity in your eyes. Mm. Tell her, I thank you, my wife. Oh. You are a gift for me. <laughs> for the wife, <laughs> look at the husband and admire him. <laughs> Tell your husband that, in fact, he is a great gift, that being companion with him has been more pronounced at this time of lockdown. Mm. That because in God's kingdom, it will be two of you alone. Mm. Hey, Jehovah. Yes. Finally, 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 you must spend quality time. There's too much social media. Some husbands are in the house together, but they are communicating with others outside. From morning till night, mm. the wife will not have husband to have a couple. Mm. This time is to talk about those times you met, mm. how you chase each other, how the wife was running away and the other was chasing. They talk were. about those little things, the obstacles that could have made your marriage not to work. That's not you would do it. Walk around <laughs> and talk about yourself. Talk about the sun. Talk about the good things of life. Mm. Okay, you watch too many movies. <laughs> <laughs> you don't really watch film. <laughs> <laughs> talk about the sun. Talk about the moon. Bawo. Okay, <laughs> don't worry. You get your point, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Thank Captain you, Bayo. Sir. It's such a pleasure having you on the show today. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. <laughs> well, well, I agree that words of affirmation, continually to reassure your spouse that, listen, these are hard times for everybody. Kindness, act of kindness. Go out of your way to do something nice. Me, my own act of kindness is just buying snacks. I'm a snackaholic in my house. I'm constantly looking for the nice things to buy. My husband has warned me this morning. Don't buy those things in my house anymore because we are constantly snacking. We don't eat proper food anymore. So that's my own way of showing kindness. You know, I get things for us to munch on, watch a movie together. Mm -hmm. But other people might like other things. You know, yeah. if your life, if your wife likes massage, um, massage I haven't got to my mom. Go ahead, Waikiki. Well, as your large Maji, this period is very interesting and boring at home. Yeah. I use the opportunity to teach my wife how to ride bicycle, watch Yoruba films, and TVC news together. By 5 p.m., I am anxious to get out of the home to meet my guys with the streets. Mm. So ah. he is not he is still meeting his guys on the street, no. but and he's not doing you know, self-isolation. Okay, you know what was interesting? We've been praying, a lot of women have been praying for a world without Premier League. Now they have it, you're not using it to your advantage. A world without Premier League, without UEFA, without Bundesliga, without all this like La Liga, there's no football. <laughs> I this is your problem. time. I didn't have that problem. Well, well a lot of women have that. I, I didn't yeah. have that problem either, but a lot of women have. My husband doesn't watch football. No... But there are lots of women that had that problem. It was a major albatross mm. on our heads. But thank God it's gone. It's time for, you got to make use of, good use of it. I think I have a caller. Oh, Yakub. Oh, I'm so oh, sorry, Yakub, for keeping you. Please try to call him back. I'm so sorry, Yakub. Th then, yeah, um, more Daniel, um, Kucha, you are right. I would love to spend, if there's more than 24 hours a day, I will spend that time with my spouse, bring the whole world to me. I will never be happy. I will never be happy like I will be with the woman who is my spouse. Charles Ubo, it is not a joke at all because you begin to see what is, in most cases, your spouse has been avoiding from you. Yeah, no we... excuse anymore, any or of any reason anymore. Mm. Your phone secrets are likely to expose if there is any. God, please un <laughs> unlock us. I have a message here. Sorry, I have, I have a message here from somebody. In fact, I'm still going to keep this. He said that, me, uh, as for me, I, I, had, I get frustrated with my wife, but I still see my girlfriend during this lockdown. Eh? I take, we, take we, go, we go out together, and my wife doesn't know about it. Jesus. She's still seeing girlfriends. Hey! hey. This lockdown, that one is things are happening. COVID to the house. I have one Elation. Elation. Do you know where, wait, sorry, I need to talk to this person. Do you know where the girlfriend has been? Hmm. Do you are still seeing girlfriend? Do you know where the you girlfriend has been? Contract you, not bring girl, you not bring COVID from wife. the house to your wife. That is actually irresponsible, Very I would say. Very this time. Very nice commentaries for you ladies, but most of your thoughts are for those who have more than enough to feed their family, 
and who did not watch over their community in the night. Okay, I have one caller. How, how are you there? Yes, I am. I'm so sorry Hi, for keeping you. Go ahead, please. Morning. morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. And to I say? Morning. You. <laughs> okay, yes. I just want to say something yes. concerning the last call out. Yes. Because, yeah, I think he's not really addressing um, people in the root. You know, just like um, the other lady, your co um, colleague, I don't know her name, yeah. said, talked about people who are living maybe in a one room the wife, the husband, children, mm -hmm. and they're looking for, the, the wife is busy thinking of how to feed, feed the children. I think first and foremost, one of the things that we should learn that this thing is going to, um, is going to bring up is that our emotions are going, to, are going to run high. And so we ourselves should teach ourselves patience. You know, it's something that should be preached along with um, isolation. You have to learn to be patient with yourself, patient with people around you, even your kids, you know, because now they see you more, they want to get on your nerves more, yeah. and then you have to find a way to always, you know, put everybody, you know, at peace, ensure that it is a home of love. But, you know, this is more difficult when there is nothing to eat. So that means that you have to consciously in your mind, apart from the fact that you are trying to look for how to feed yourself, it is more stressful for you not to have food in your tummy, and then yet you still have energy for anger. Yeah. So what you do as a man is that, you know, you consciously you tell yourself that I want to live at peace in my home. Mm. It doesn't matter if you're a carpenter, it doesn't matter if you're a tailor, it doesn't matter if you're a plumber, you know, you just say, as they say it in Yoga, mm. you know, just say that to yourself as a man. And the right. same goes to, you know, the woman right. as well. So that the two of you together, even if you have not eaten, you are not in pain. Because, right. you know, going through the, um, physical violence gives you bodily pain, along with the hunger, COVID, COVID hunger, that is already worrying you. <laughs> okay. All right. So thank you very much, Hawa, for those suggestions. Another, I got another suggestion from somebody. It's that what he does in his own house, they eat together. So according to him, they, for breakfast, they do like ogi in a big bowl. They, they have a kara in another bowl, and everybody sits around together and have breakfast. Dinner time, they put all the rice in one big bowl, the meat and everything in one big and they all sit down together. And you, when you do that, what it does, it, does, it brings us together. It brings that family, uh, family bonding time. So yeah. I think it's, a, it's an idea that we can all also adapt. Yeah, to I also kind. don't want Go. us to forget those people who cannot even afford to eat at mm. the moment. So if the local governments were looking to ensuring that in the CDAs there's like a cooking place that people mm, they can said get they're going in. To do that. Mm. Yes, now I'm that. talking from my own side. I've not seen anything. I've not heard anything. No, like you that. are Ugu State hey, now. Am I yeah, not you, supposed to talk Ugu about State. Ugu State? Are we not supposed to talk about our hey, state? Our state, so they are not that road. Is it food way. they are going to give us? Hey, Jesus. Hey, okay, please. <laughs> please, if there's any way, even a well-meaning individuals can also do this. Let's not just wait on the government. You are a well-meaning individual. Um, I can support your ministry. Yes, you can. I'll send you some money. Support your ministry. I don't mind. I don't mind. Yes, and make sure that. At least people on my streets who have food yes. every day, even yeah. if it's once a day or yeah. twice yeah. a day, that yeah. will help people yeah. to help manage us. themselves. Let's, let's try to do that. I mean, um, I mean, th th thank God I was able to give us some rice yesterday. I got oh, some back from, awesome. from Nima. And I, I was just giving it out. I mean, I had people, people on my street that I pour that, that I usually give, okay. they were not around. Okay. So I was out driving around town. I was giving the, the woman with the selling, uh, what do they call it, roasted corn. Mm. The, the were you, old were woman. you wearing a mask? I, yeah, of yeah, course. Are you wearing gloves? gloves? No, I wasn't wearing gloves. I had to okay. wash my hands. Let's isolate her. After the show. Do I have a call? <laughs> I think I have a call. Go Hello. Good morning, sir. Are you there? Yeah. Mr. Debi, go ahead. <laughs> Good morning. I want to give a shout out to Ekeji Electric. They have been still doing very well since the lockdown, first week of the lockdown. For real? And Which area do you stay, sir? Which area, please? Let's be moving to that area. Light. Allow, sir. Ah. Wow, sir. Okay, that's close, but that's right here. Hey, people, I don't yeah, with no power. I really tried. They have not shaped the life since then. It's up till now. Wow. Really tried. Fantastic. Another thing, I want to talk to about those that are giving food to distribute. Please, they should know the people that are trustworthy for them to give. I can notice some people in the Yaloja area. They are giving the food. They're not sharing among the poli um, poli um, politicians. They are giving to the party member. They are giving. They don't give it to their... Giving to the other yeah. people. They are giving to the... Uh, to the so, uh, how would I put it? 
to the party members, they are yeah. some of them, they are, are, some landlord will not keep the rest in their house. This has been reported, and they, we've been told it's been looked into. Yes, we got those reports earlier, I think two last week or so, and we reported to the mm -hmm. government. And they because are I, I have that. a friend that works at the ministry, and she says the, when the governor gave out this thing, it's not intended for party members; it's intended so, for all citizens. Thank you. Yeah. It is. You know, it's this lack of integrity that we have yeah, as yeah, Nigerians. Yes. Right, That's right. it. We are our own problem. Yes, totally and completely. You're very right. You, you use that word integrity, and I think it's a very important word. Across, but from the high level to the lowest level, yep. you're having integrity issues. Because I, do, I, I, was in the, I was in a room where somebody actually was saying, ah, they're sharing over there. And the person, no, 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 it's not for us. Mm, Please, I like don't that. go. That, the woman actually said, it, it's not for us, mm. not at our own level. Mm. It's for the poor, poor people. That we don't even it. try it. But somebody came in excited. Like, well, they've said they're sharing, you know. Said, no, so, so, so they, we lack that a lot, but we, they we are, like they it. I mean, if they're sharing rice and I, I have rice at home, what am I going Why to collect rice? Why am I collecting yeah. rice right now? Yeah. It doesn't make sense. You know, so I'm taking from somebody. It's greed. It's greed, really. I have a call from the United Kingdom. Good morning. Are you there? Yeah, good morning. Mara. Thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. Yeah, you people are doing a good job. I'm enjoying you. Thank, Thank you, sir. Uh, I, I think uh, I agree with uh, everything you people have said today. Uh, but my advice is that <coughs> the president should make everything total lockdown in the whole country, at least for two weeks, and provide food for elderly people and the younger one that has no job. That is the best way to go. Because this thing is a serious issue. I can't disagree. It's a very, very serious issue. Even those the 30 years old boy died in London, the family are not allowed to get near him hmm. because of the COVID. So it's very emotional. It's right. a serious, people die daily. Yesterday, no over 800 died in, in, in England. So hmm. uh, this thing is serious. Let's not let's take it serious and uh, let it be total lockdown in the old federation. Right. But provide food for the elderly people and the younger ones. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. is my own advice. Thank you very much, oh. um, Mr. D, for that. Uh, um, yes, I think he, he has made a very valid Tweets. point. I know that the lockdown is affecting everybody. It's affecting me. And it's affecting you. Right. Yeah. And so it's affecting all of, all us. of us. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So, But it, it's necessary because of this disease. But I... I, I um, yeah. So uh, as may I quickly yeah. say that? Uh, I, I was, okay. sorry, I was telling my house help today, when you go outside, please wear a mask. No, they, 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 will, um, uh, uh, they have brought masks with COVID-19. I said, eh? these are the rumors that are not helping people. So I said, go That's and right. look for masks today. I will buy the mask for yeah. you. Yeah. Do you understand? Ankara mask. Make Ankara, you know, soda mm. Ankara, I like you it. You know, so there, there, there is no... COVID now, if you feel oh, that. Talking about that, somebody gave us masks. Yes. yes. <laughs> I wanted to actually thank her. I, I, I don't know the person. Uh, let me let me read this very quickly. They gave us, um, um, b b I think it's um, Cafe Pascucci, I think, type of coffee. It was really nice. I've not tried Pascucci, I think, type of coffee. It was really nice. I've not tried it yet, but um, thank you so much. They gave us these lovely boxes yeah, of I coffee from Emmanuel Chueseli. Yes, Thank that's you, she's um, for Veronica Freddy. She's the managing director of First Zulu Nigerian Limited. Veronica Freddy, thank you so much for sending us. They gave us nice boxes of tea, coffee, and the whole works. And the uh, mask. That was, and the mask. Yeah, the mask was Beautiful. really nice. Yeah. When you said mask, I don't remember that. Mine. I actually <laughs> totally forgot to say thank you. Thank it's you really so beautiful. much to Veronica. Thank Veronica. you. Thank you so much. Mm, so yeah. I wanted to quickly say that uh, while we are social distancing, let's not emotionally distance. You know, so let's reach out to people, call them, check on them, find yeah. out how they are doing. And I know that it's scary to call now because the next, once you just make a call, somebody's requesting for, I'm not eating, I need money and all of that. But just try somebody as much asked as possible. Somebody asked me for, somebody sent me that call. she needs help. Okay. I said, come to my house, take my home, take rice and No, yam. she wants money. It's not money she yeah, wants. She wants money. Maybe she I actually rice. had yam and I wanted to, and I, and, I, and I actually tried to bundle something for her. She didn't answer me. She doesn't want yam. It's you know, money. in Nigeria, a beggar has me, a choice. But my own account is almost <laughs> a beggar has a choice in Nigeria. <laughs> no, so then, if, even if you call me, oh. I'm not going to be able to. You know, I'm even thinking. I'm, I'm really wondering because if we don't start work sooner, what am I going to do? Mm. I don't know what I'm going to. Why well, okay, so, I feel bad for you because the truth is that even after the lockdown, how it will take a few months for people to start coming back to shrine. Because the, the first thing they're thinking of is that Alessa's not going to start going to concert. You don't or, know Nigerians, uh, so they no, will it, come back. It that will week. take a moment. They will come they will out stabbing fever. Fine. <laughs> when you have a when you have coming back, they will still be scared. See, look, would you be look, going out and you'll be scared? Excuse me, my partner. 
He has been fighting me that you are not going on any of your view. You are supposed to be isolated. <laughs> no, I said, you done before that, I die no. in the house, please let me go and do <laughs> TV. <laughs> I beg you. <laughs> do something else. Uh, let me go out. <laughs> no, eh, OK. You are going to isolate yourself, and you can just isolate yourself for 14 days. You are quarantined. You didn't yeah, touch yeah. anybody. We gotta go. We gotta go. But why? Thank you. That's all we can take on the show. Have a fabulous day. I hope you enjoyed the show as much as we did. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Take care. God, bye for now. <laughs>